Okay, um, let's uh, move on uh, to Arsenal, Liam, which I know uh, everyone in the game. Do we have to? Do we have to? <laughs> no, I mean it's a it's a very uh, serious for because a it's a great club with a fantastic tradition. B Arsene Wenger, you know, has been one of the great figures in the English game uh, since he's he arrived here. Uh, and I think is respected by almost everybody but what I would feel now Liam is that I don't think the respect is ebbing away but the the team that played at West Brom on Saturday it was probably the worst performance I've seen f- from an Arsenal uh, team for a very very long time and the, there's clearly a crisis at the club um, and of course I realise your association with it so I mean, I would be someone who feels a bit of pain when I see Wenger on the bench with his face uh, tensed up and his head in his hands occasionally. I feel great sorrow for one of football's great figures. Yeah, and uh, I do as well. You know, I don't like to see him going through or you're going through aeroplanes uh, flying over the stadium saying Wenger out. Uh, but what I would say, and this is from, uh, you know, an Arsenal supporter point of view I'm you know I want the team to do well I support the team is that the uncertainty surrounding Arsene is not being good for the team uh, I think uh, it's come to a point now we've got the international break uh, at the moment we've got no game next week because we've got international matches I think the club by the time we we play Manchester City um, at home uh, the week after next could do with a statement saying whether Arsenal's going to stay or going to go. I don't think it's helping the team. I think the agenda surrounding the team is uh, is only that. Nobody's concentrating on what needs to be concentrated on. And really, Arsenal and the owners and the chief executive, I think, have to uh, make that decision to tell the fans what's going to happen at the end of the season. And if it's uh, Wenger to stay I have no problem with that a lot of fans would but I have no problem with that because I think he's been a terrific manager over the last uh, well his, all his tenure okay his first 10 years were probably much better than the second 10 years but what he's had to do with the competition he's up against uh, I think he's done a very very good job uh, now a lot of Arsenal supporters would say well that's rubbish but I think they're letting their hearts rule their head. You know, I think if you look at it in the in the cold uh, uh, in, in a cold, calculated fashion, uh, I think Arsenal are probably spending uh, money that's probably fourth best in the in the uh, in the Premier League. They're probably spending money on transfers that's fourth best in the Premier League. And you remember Arsene Wenger? They finished second last year. Uh, he took them to the cup in 2015. He took them to the cup in 2014. He's had 20 years of qualifying for the Champions League. As I said it to you last week, or I think it was 10 days ago, Eamon, managers have been sacked left, right and centre for not getting teams into the Champions League. Yeah. What I would say now, and I'm just going to repeat myself, is that we could do with a bit of clarity on his future before we resume against Manchester City in 10 days' time. Yeah, and it's also to put into that equation, Liam, the fact that they had to leave Highbury and make a, a huge transition uh, to the Emirates, uh, a very expensive exercise um, that he had to manage uh, and take into account as well. Uh, Didi, your um, assessment of where Wenger is now and Arsenal, bearing in mind also, Didi, that they are... Uh, at the moment not looking great for a top four place although they have two games in hand of uh, Liverpool who at the moment are fourth yeah um, well they're probably as low uh, on the wingers the tenure than they've than they've ever been as as Liam rightly pointed out the the first 10 years been a lot more successful than the last 10 and that probably coincided with uh, Abramovich coming into Chelsea and uh, the wealthy owners coming into Manchester City. So I think it, it's a lot harder these days than it probably was 20 years ago uh, to be competitive. Because if you had an edge in the transfer market, which he, which he did have, you know, he brought players in in, in Bergkamp or Riviera who failed or didn't really uh, make it in Italy. 
for example, um, and they turned out to be some of the all-time greats in the in the Premier League. Um, the, the the issue, of course, I see today in the betting is it's odds on. I think it's five to six the pair where they do stay on. Um, when a few weeks ago everybody would have said, I think it's highly unlikely that it does stay. Yeah, that humiliation by Bayern Munich over the two legs. I think they hit rock bottom on Saturday, going to West Brom um, and make make them look like a like a really good team and losing the game three uh, one. Champions League qualification is not guaranteed. I think the decision you've got to make in as an Arsenal board now. Um, again, I wouldn't have a problem. I think they probably need a change. I, I'm with Liam. I wouldn't have a problem if he does stay, but obviously they have to think or or be have to believe that things will get better in the remaining fixtures of this season yes. and next season. And this is the the big issue I've got because at the moment there seems to be a, a you know breakdown in communication with the team. Um, very rarely you've seen Arsenal teams where almost the whole team plays below par. I think that's where they are at the moment. Um, and to lose 10 to an aggregate in a in the last 16 match, even though against a, a good Bayern Munich side, uh, I think uh, it's just uh, you know the alarm bells should be ringing. It will be ringing. This is why there's a lot of talk around uh, the Emirates uh, that he should go. Can I see him turning things around, which he has done in the past? I think it's gone too far. So I think uh, there would be well advised to think about different managers. You need to see who's out there. If nobody's out there, give him another year and maybe do something for the season after. Um, but I just simply cannot see how he's going to turn that whole thing around because a lot of punters have lost faith in the players. I think he lost faith, faith in some of the players. And I'm not sure whether he's the one who can galvanise him and get the best out of them in the moment. Yeah, just a, a point to be made, Liam. They have two matches in hand, but they have to play... Uh, Liverpool is the next game, I, I think. Uh, no, is it? No, not? Man City, Man City. Man City's the next... City. And they've got still yeah. got Chelsea, haven't they? No. no, no, they've played twice. They beat Chelsea at home, they lost away. Yeah, Both 3 0. I don't think, it ma- I don't think they've at got, the moment it matters. They've, they've, got Man United at, they've got Man United at home as well, and they've got Spurs away. Right. It's going to be very difficult to qualify for the championship, but it's not yes. impossible. And but I think what needs to happen is we need to know, you know, what, what his decision is, because uh, it, it's not helping the team, the uncertainty. And, yeah. Uh, I think that's. that's the key point to how the team is performing now and Arsenal must know that and the board must know it so I'm hoping that by the time we play Manchester City on I think it's the 2nd of April that we'll know what's going to happen Uh, Just a a couple of uh, final points uh, before I ask you guys about the Champions League draw I mean the FA Cup draw is interesting because you've um, um, Spurs play Chelsea and Arsenal play Manchester City in that as well don't they? Yeah, well, I think the, the draw against Manchester City is actually a favourable one. When yeah. I was looking at the at the at the teams we could have got, uh, I, I was hoping it was going to be Manchester City because I think Manchester City are unpredictably uh, uh, poor in, in, in well, uh, what I mean to say, they're unpredictable how they're going to play, how they're going to perform. Uh, we saw against Monaco that defensively they can, like Arsenal, they can be all over the place. And if our team's on form in the day, I think we can take them. 